Google has released a new tool that allows you to create amazing web apps in just a matter of clicks. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how I use this new tool to create a content optimization tool in a matter of minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. Recently, Google has been releasing a lot of amazing AI tools and models. And in today's video, I'll be doing a review of Firebase Studio, which is a new tool from Google, which allows you to create web applications and apps easily with AI. So let's try to build a web application that intelligently scans a blog post and gives us a content optimization score based on a variety of different criteria and which I've given to the AI. So this will basically be like a tool like New and Writer, which is a content optimization tool or Surfer SEO. Okay, so here's a plan for how we'll prototype this app. Take a look before and customize as needed. So input fields, content analysis, score display, detailed feedback, additional resources, and style guidelines, color, layer, typography, animation, and so on. Okay, so this looks decent. Let's go ahead and prototype this app. So as you can see, very, very easy to do. This is very familiar and seems a lot like Bolt AI or lovable. So this is going to be very, very interesting to see how, um, you know, this is going to be better than what we're getting back from, let's say, Bolt or um, lovable AI. And this is ran on the Gemini 2.5 model from Google, which is really, really good at coding. I would say definitely comparable to Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is most of what, you know, lovable and Bolt is built on. I've used Bolt and Lovable quite a lot, so it's going to be a very interesting comparison of these tools. Okay, so this is the Content Optimization Pro that we get back. So apparently, we can enter our blog post and then enter a target keyword, and it will analyze that content for us. So let's go over to our example article. I'm going to paste that in there, and then I'm going to paste in our keyword that we're trying to rank for, which is Facial Cyst Removal. And then let's go ahead and analyze the content and see if we're able to get back the output. So we did get an error analyzing the content. We need to enter API key set for the Google Gen API key or Google API key environment variable. Okay, so that should be easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Gemini API key and I will be back soon. Okay, so I've entered in the API key and we're going to try this again. We're going to copy over our URL and then we're going to enter our keyword and we're going to click analyze. So this is the optimization score in which we get back. We get a 58 out of 100, I believe. And this is the feedback in which we get. So based on the analysis, our strengths is content relevance, um, comprehensive guide, our weaknesses are keyword usage, needs improvement, H1 tag should include the, um, the primary keyword, keyword density, FAQs, aim for a word count that thoroughly covers the topic, image usage, external links and so on. So I like that we're getting feedback, but I just don't like the way that it's being shown here. It would be nice if this was actually shown a little bit better. So we can probably tell the AI to just improve the way visually that we're able to see this. What is SEO? How do I choose the right keyword? So this is FAQ recommendations. I'm not sure where, the, where this is coming from. Let's go ahead and click on this link. Yeah, so I think that this is just giving us some information, but it's not very useful. So what I would do here, I would then tell it that I want to make the feedback a little bit more visually appealing. So I've simply told it to make the feedback more visually appealing. It's went ahead and done that. It is pretty fast, I would say. Like, it's pretty quick the way that we're getting back our content. Let's go ahead and try a different article now. Okay, so this is giving us an optimization score of 65. Here's how well your content is optimized. So I'm pretty happy with that, obviously. But let's see what we actually get back. So we get an error here. I don't even know what this means. Let's just try to fix the error and see if we're able to do so. So it's definitely easy to use, I would say. Um, it's very quick, as we can see. So shave, mole removal. So it, let's hope that it fixed that issue. Again, we're going to click Analyze. So let's go ahead and try to fix the second error, which is unhandled runtime error. So again, let's go ahead and try to do that and see if we can work through this. But that's usually how it works when you're using these tools. You have to work through these different bugs and these different errors. But as you guys saw, we were able to create a pretty decent prototype in literally a matter of seconds. And the first time it worked, right? I just went ahead and changed some things around. And that's probably why it kind of broke. Um, but as you can see, it did work. So for this new analysis, after we work through a couple of errors, we got it to work again. We get the content feedback. It still doesn't look the best. But again, that's fine, right? Well, what are we going to do about it? If we can't fix it, we probably have to just take a look at the code. So based on the analysis of the content with the target keyword, here's a breakdown of its strengths, weaknesses, and recommendations. So we see the strengths, 
strengths sorry we see the weaknesses um, if we scroll down we can see the actionable recommendations and then that is kind of it that we get back so i kind of liked it how it was at the beginning when we didn't make any changes i found that we got some more um, feedback but overall it's not bad right as you can see you can build a tool pretty easily and then you want to go ahead if you want to publish it you can click, click publish and you probably have to work through a couple of different steps for you to actually get this url live but it's free to use it's quick it's intelligent it's from google so you know it's definitely going to work and if you wanted to create something very quickly or create a prototype then i would say that this is a pretty good and easy way for you to go ahead and do so if you don't want to pay for bolt and if you don't want to pay for lovable this is definitely a good alternative google has released a new tool that allows you to create amazing web apps in just a matter of clicks and in today's video i'll be showing you how i use this new tool to create a content optimization tool in a matter of minutes let's go ahead and get started